Well, as you can see there, the, the sun is shining on a beautiful evening. Um, so I've come out after work. I've been out for about 40 minutes or so, and it looks like I've happened on my first coin here. Um, just been led and the odd occasional bit. Um, thinking it's a likely George V or Victoria based on the rest of them from here, but there are some Georgian coins dotted throughout, so you never do know. Well, one thing is, is for certain, then it's the usual sort of toasty condition for this farm. But I'm um, good to get a coin. Uh, it's always nice to go home with something to look into. So I'll count it, like it. Well, as you can see right in front of you, I have stumbled across a silver coin. Um, it's a threepence of Queen Victoria. Um, I've had a 1890 from up here before, and it was in fantastic condition. This one's 18, I think it's 98 or 9, um, but as usual with the silver, I'm not going to rub them. Uh, I'll get that one home and get a better picture of it when it's all cleaned up. Well, fantastic. Come out on a lovely night. A couple of coins, got a wee religious pendant. Um, and now this little silver three pence in what looks to be pretty fine condition, so that's great news. Now I'll see if I can get any more before the sun goes down. Still got another hour or so. Magic. So having had a better look at it, I can now see that it's uh, 1892, which makes it one of the uh, Jubilee head. These were the ones that um, some remarked that the Queen looked like a penguin. <laughs> um, I can actually kind of see what they were getting at. But um, this is the first of these Jubilee head three pences I found, so that's that is delightful. Very nice. Oh, here's a strange little find. Um, definitely a first for me. You'll notice there's not much there. Now there is something there. When, that, when I clean it up, I should be able to get some detail, but on the obverse, we can see this face and 1891. So I really don't know where this coin's from. There's a bus that I am not familiar with. Certainly for that year we would be Queen Victoria, so that's definitely not a Victorian. <laughs> that's cool, another wee coin. And a uh, bit of an oddity. So I have this very thin, very very thin little copper coin. Um, I'd been having a discussion on Detecting Scotland with, uh, I can't recall who it was, but they were saying that they'd been picking these up and uh, they were hammered coppers. Now, you look at the, the thickness of it, I think it's a very realistic possibility that this may well be a little Charles II Turner or something like that. I think there's some vague, vague detail on it. So hopefully with uh, olive oil soak and a little clean up, I may actually be able to properly identify this one. Here's quite an interesting we find. Uh, it's the second one of these I've had from this field. Uh, the other one being up at the very opposite corner. But it's a little trade weight. Um, on the clear as to if there's anything actually on it. I think it's just maybe some scratch marks, but usually they've got the penny weight uh, denomination printed on it. Something like a you know a crown or stamp of the monarch or just some design initials or something like that. 
So hopefully when it when it gets cleaned up it will reveal some details and I'll get a picture to follow. But that's cool. That's that little copper coin and then this within about five minutes. Good stuff. So in front of me I have my next find, uh, some time on from uh, the uh, copper trade weight and it's the second silver threepence I've had in two hunts from the same field. Different location and it's actually the third silver threepence that I've found in this field in total. Um, the only silver that I've actually found in the field. Uh, I had a silver sixpence in the field next to it. Uh, this one looks not too bad. And as you can see on the back there, we have George V. So that will be uh, 1911 to 36. Um, unclear what the date is just yet, but I should be able to preserve this one quite nicely. Uh, good stuff, another silver. Well, in the uh, shadow there, um, it's a windy day. I've come out on Sunday, Easter Sunday, and uh, I have a lovely wee first ever find here. I think you can see it in the light. Um, the reason I'm turned into the shadow is the wind is so strong when I'm facing it, I don't think you'd be able to hear me at all. So, um, as you can see there, yep, lovely little snake buckle. I've, I've seen plenty of these found, but I've never ever found one myself, and I've always wanted to. So, yeah, again, this farm gives me a great first find. And that's lovely, I'll get a better detailed picture of it for you. A nice little snake buckle. Most likely Victorian. Cool. Well, some time on, I've picked up a few coins, uh, just Victorian ones, uh, pretty knackered. And then the next find has been this little horse. I think it's just a pewter horse, but it's quite nice. I like finding wee trinkets like that. You know, so it is a farm that's run exclusively for keeping horses at um, and various horse riding activities. So it's always nice to get a wee thing of what the place is about. It was fairly deep down, so I don't think it's that modern. Uh, I think it might even be a little Victorian find, but it's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so here we are with an interesting little find. Yeah, it seems to be a church token. I've spent a wee bit of time just brushing the dirt off it and trying to make out what it says. You can see right there, it says church. Can't make out if this is... Uh, I think it has more lettering or maybe a representation of the church or something, I'm not quite sure. There's more detail on that side but I can't quite make it out. Um, and then when you flip it over, uh, the top, I can't make out that word. U something, I-T-E-D, United perhaps. 25th of April, 1869. And it's Easter Sunday today, so it's uh, very, very close to the anniversary of this uh, this token. And then the uh, Reverend John S. T. something, I can't quite make it out. But that's brilliant, that's a really, really nice wee token. I've never found a church token like that. Uh, it's maybe a communion token. Um, I've had one uh, segment of one from this field and somebody said that they thought it might be a communion token. and. This makes it look fairly certain. 
So that's excellent, really happy with that.